Alright, so in this video we'll be doing the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Um, I'll be starting from Vort's Bonfire, although it's not really necessary to beat beating the boss. Um, I decided to switch it up and use my Dark Karthus Curved Sword, because um, I like its responsiveness just a little bit more than um, the uh, Cell Sword Twin Blades. I feel like I can get in and out of my rolls faster with it. Like, while attacking and stuff. Or really in the midst of attacking. Now, while these knights try to roll catch you, so be aware of that. Like, they're not going to give you easy attacks, so you need to roll precisely. So that can mean waiting or being a little bit more proactive, depending on what, um... What, what you think your timing is. Um, so yes. Uh, now for this, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to hug the back of her right leg. Because this way um, I, I can avoid most of her attacks. Probably 90% of her attacks. But obviously I don't exactly execute that too well. Because uh, her walking is much different in this attempt. So yeah. Note that there's some RNG in there. And you're, it's going to be a little bit more complex getting to that right leg. Um, she threw an att that attack she almost never throws um, so she managed to get that off on me but now I'm in the right position at this point it's definitely a, a more tricky dancer for sure I anticipated an AoE there um, when she puts her hand in the ground you, you can be pretty like that you can be pretty sure it's an AoE just to be safe like I'm pretty sure that uh, has a hitbox to it um yeah so she before you just saw her do that spinning combo attack I believe it's called dancer's grace um if you hug her butt like I did you'll avoid most of the attacks and for that last two swings you just want to Roll or double roll, maybe triple roll. And yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm having an easier time avoiding her attacks uh, by hugging her, trying to hug her back right leg. It's good when she walks in counterclockwise fashion. For me, it's, it's just easier for me to hug that leg. I guess so. When she's not doing that, you want to kind of avoid her. Yeah, you don't really see the trail left behind by that attack, but it's there. Um, I also specced into fire and magic absorption. That helps. Over here, I'm trying so hard to get that window, but I keep getting denied and checked and stuff. It's it's this is actually a really messy fight, but I did manage to get it the first try. Yep, and that was the dancer of the Boreal Valley. This strategy should work for up to new game plus seven. I mean, I have eight Estus left, so I don't think it's a that messy of an approach. Um, what else can I say? Uh, Okay, that was a soul gain in the bottom right. Um, I guess if I can leave you some other tips, um, just, uh, I don't know, roll for the snap, I, I guess. You know, don't roll when she's winding up and try to roll catch you. That's all I can say. It's, it's not really that much of a tactical fight, to be honest.